So what is a bench graft and why should I plant it? These are great questions and I got great answers. A bench graft is a tiny tree, the smallest tree you can start with. It consists of two parts, a rootstock, the bottom half of a tree bred specifically for its roots, and a cutting or scion of the desired variety, which is grafted onto the rootstock. The grafting is done indoors during winter on a bench instead of in the summer out in the field, and thus the name, bench graft. So why would you start with a tiny tree instead of a two or three year old tree? Well, the biggest reason would be that you have the widest selection of varieties. Since the bench graft is grafted right before it is shipped, every order is basically a custom order. We currently offer 40 to 50 tried and true varieties, and if we know ahead, we can pretty much graft any variety you want. You can send us cuttings from an old tree on your property that's in decline, and we can graft new trees of it for you to plant and save that variety. The next biggest reason is the cost. At $10 per tree, it is the cheapest way to start your orchard, and we could ship your order anywhere in the USA for just $15 plus an inspection fee if you're outside of California. For international orders, we charge the actual shipping rate, but it is still the cheapest way to order your orchard since the trees are small. 250 trees can fit in a 20 kilo box that only measures 30 by 30 by 45 centimeters, which cuts way down on your freight costs. Since the trees are dormant, they come through the long flight just fine and arrive anywhere in the world in three to five days. Another reason is that you're able to train the trees up right. There's not much use in buying a two to three year old tree if you have to lop some big limbs off because it wasn't shaped right in the nursery or the roots were heavily pruned or damaged either while digging them up or to make the tree fit into the box. An older tree that's been heavily pruned will usually just sit there on the ground for a year before it grows very much. And so that extra year that you paid for and thought you were getting is pretty much wasted. Since there is no transplanting shock, a bench graft is best adapted to the conditions in your yard or farm and you come into production the quickest. However, if you need to pot them the first year, we do have a video showing you how to do that linked in the description. And finally, it's a ton of fun to watch them grow. I get emails from overjoyed clients all the time with photos of their bench graft pushing their first leaves. And they act like proud parents showing baby pictures to everyone who will listen. They're also usually shocked at how fast they grow, often reaching six feet tall the first season. You realize how grafting is the finger of God when you see the two pieces of wood becoming one and you see that dormant bud push new green growth. There's also a sense of pride and satisfaction knowing that that big tree in your yard was started by you as a tiny seedling. Now I will admit that there's some limitations. First of all, it requires a lot of care from you in the first few years, and if so, if you want a tree that you could just plant and forget, you're better off with an avocado or citrus tree. We also have a 10 tree minimum order. It's not uncommon for smaller clients to pool their orders with family and neighbors to reach the minimum. We can also only ship when the material is dormant, which is February through the beginning of April. And we only ship trees. We do not have a retail location where you could come pick them up. We've had clients ask if they could come and stroll around and picnic in our orchard, and I'm afraid it's nothing like that. We're in the middle of the city, you'd be really disappointed. However, I can hardly recommend our friends up in the local apple growing area of Oak Glen, which are well set up, not only let you visit the orchard and pick apples, but they'll feed you and entertain you and let you throw tomahawks and shoot archery. Links to their orchards are down in the description. Be looking for our videos on how to train and raise these bench grafts. And as always, like and subscribe if you want to see more. Until next time, I'm Kevin Hauser with the Cuffle Creek Apple Nursery.